Hello everyone, there's a new feature in Embroidery Wear that I would like to show you, and it's work. I'm really excited about this new feature. Um, if you have the cutwork needles or you know anything about them, they're basically four needles. Um, there's a red, a yellow, green, and blue. Um, generally designs only need the red, or, I'm sorry, the red and yellow. Um, and some other complicated designs could use all four. Um, in Embroidery Wear, we have now the ability to work with cutwork needles. I've opened a simple smiley face here. Um, probably it's not going to be the greatest cut work example because the mouth itself probably won't cut out very well, but um, we'll try it anyway. Um, so first thing you do is you draw your graphic. It always defaults to single. Um, we're going to select all the graphics. And we're going to go down to type and choose the new feature cut work. And you notice when we choose that, um, the graphic changes color. Um, what that represents is the red and yellow needles because it defaults to two cut work needles. Um, when we change it to four cut work needles, you'll notice that the graphic changes into four colors. What we have here is basically the needles that would be used. Um, if you know anything about the needles, um, they're quite interesting. Uh, there's a vertical one, there's a horizontal one, and there's one at 45 degrees and one at 135 degrees. Um, the red one is 45 degrees. You can see um, it's cutting the 45 degree part of the smiley face and the eyes and also the matching side on the other side. Um, the yellow is horizontal. You can see that the bottom of the face is being cut as well as the top of the smiley face and the top of the eyes and bottom of the eyes. And then we have the green, which is, I basically call it 135 degrees, which is facing this direction. And then we have the blue, which is vertical. So you can see in the smiley face here that we have all these different colors represented by the cutwork needles that are going to be used. Um, if we use two needles, basically what happens there, oops, I just select all the items before I change it to two needles. Um, you'll notice that basically uh, there's red and yellow over the whole object. It'll just basically go through the whole object and um, go with the needles um, over the whole object. Right now I have the cutter spacing set to three uh, tenths of a millimeter. I'm not sure that's the right value. I haven't really played with this that much. But uh, by setting that, you can set how close the cutters are going to be spaced. If you zoom in, you can see how close the cutters are being spaced. One of the important things about cut work is um, depending on how you set this up in your hoop with stabilizer and things to support it, um, some of these objects might actually come loose as they're being cut. So you can set tabs um, and what the tabs do is it basically supports the fabric, keeps it in place. Um, so here we have tab set to zero, which means there wouldn't be any tabs. Um, if we change this to some number like 20, you'll notice that now the graphic doesn't have cutting in these little tab areas, and they'll hold the smiley face portion in. Um, these tabs will be spaced according to the settings in this dialog, and uh, right now it's set to 300. <clears throat> if we set it to something less, you notice there will be more tabs. So maybe we'll just use that setting for the example. Um, the tabs are pretty big. Uh, we could make them smaller. Um, you can make them any size you want. Um, and basically what that does is it will hold the fabric in place while it's being cut so it doesn't fall out. Um, so we'll try and use this design. So what we're going to do is we're going to save this as a DST file, cut work. And then we're going to go into a second program um, that we can actually set these particular colors to certain values for cut work. Um, it's important to do this, at least I like to do this. Um, I use a secondary program that's free from Bernina um, where you can actually set the punch colors and we'll set them to red and yellow as we have them in here. Um, and then when we put the file on the machine, it will know what to do. 
Okay, now we've opened the design in Bernina Artlink. Uh, Bernina Artlink is a free program you can get from Bernina's website. It's a great tool. I like using it to simulate um, the stitch out, see how it's going to stitch out. If we actually do that, um, we'll end up having this sort of output. You'll see that um, the first needle, the red needle, will actually stitch out. And then uh, there will be a second needle. Um, that will be the yellow needle that will stitch out as well. Um, can't really see it that well because it's uh, blue in here. So let's zoom in a little further um, so we can kind of see what it's doing. Uh, we want to actually set these um, needle colors anyway to um, get the punch out right. And you see it did purple and blue. So we're going to change those. So to change those, we go up to red colors. And we get this screen. And you notice what's really neat about this program is you can actually set it to uh, different color types. And you'll notice that there's a color type in here called applique. And under applique, we have punch work settings. So we're going to do a punch work cutting line and we're going to assign that to both of these um, one and two and then we're going to change one to red because that's the first needle and then we're going to change two to yellow since that's the second needle and that's all we had to do. Once we've done that um, you'll notice now it's red and yellow. You know, if I put it in simulation mode, you'll see that the red goes first and then the yellow. What's great about this is now that we're in here, you know, my program only outputs DST files which don't have any color information. Um, but for here, we're going to save it as a different file. Um, we're going to save it as a file that the Bernina can read, or you could save it to any of these others. Um, I haven't tried every one of them to see how they turn out. But in the case of the Bernina, we're going to do Bernina USB stick ESP. We're going to call it cut work. And we're going to save that. Okay, the first needle that it's calling for is the red needle. So we'll put the red needle in the machine. We've already loaded the file. It's all ready to go. It's talking about red. One of two punch work and it indicates it's red. So we'll start the machine.
I put tabs in the down design, uh, tabs have to be cut out. It's not always necessary to put tabs in, but I just wanted to show how that worked. And the um, not sure that I chose the best fabric for this experiment. And I have a stabilizer on the bottom to just work very well. But you have a smiley face. Now, typically what would be done is you'd put a very thick water stabilizer underneath and you would stitch a running stitch around face and then you would do a satin stitch around the edges and you basically have cut work done with a machine.